The overdose death toll in BC is rising after going down last year, and with COVID-19 measures in place, more people are doing drugs alone, while the drug supply has become even more toxic as a result of border closures. The new Lifeguard app, which helps prevent overdoses, has officially launched in Interior Health, and the Minister of Mental Health and Addiction says this is one crucial tool needed to combat the overdose crisis. We are constantly looking for new tools for our toolbox in order to save lives and to connect people to treatment and to recovery, and this is a really, really important tool, and with the advent of COVID-19, its readiness to go, its launch couldn't come at a better time because the death toll very sadly has begun to go up again after going down last year. The idea for the app came from Lifeguard CEO Jeff Hardy while he was recovering from an alcohol addiction in 2017. Hardy's close friend Evan died on May 29, 2017 from fentanyl toxicity, which prompted Hardy to find a solution to the drug crisis. The application's information, the very minimal that you put in, it doesn't go anywhere but to emergency responders. It doesn't go to RCMP. It doesn't go to the fire department. It only goes to the ambulance people. And um, the only time anybody responds to you is if you've overdosed. So when you actually go to use the app, you turn it on, and it asks you two questions. It gives you a drop-down menu to give a description of the type of drugs you're going to take. You then hit start and your GPS location will come up. You can add in different things. And the reason for that is that if you do overdose or unconscious and can't respond to the, to the alarm, then that gives the emergency responders more specific places for them to find you. Mm -hmm. So once you confirm the address, it then starts an alarm, which, which goes backwards from 60 seconds. As it gets to 50 seconds, okay, if you haven't already turned it off, it gives you a warning sound, which is another alarm. And that stays on until somebody turns it off. So what that means is that if you do pass out or if you overdose, it stays on. If you're by yourself, we're, the hopes is that somebody will hear it. And also when the emergency responders come to get you, they can hear it as well. We've come together as a province to fight COVID-19, and we need to continue to come together as a province until we turn the tide on this terrible crisis of overdose. The Lifeguard app is available on iOS and Android platforms. For Castanet News, I'm Miriam Halpenny in Kelowna.